Hello! In our last video, we learned how to install Node.js on Windows and Mac. So let's learn how to install Node.js on Linux. You might ask me, I develop on Windows or Mac, and I don't use Linux at all. Then why should I know how to install Node.js on Linux? My answer is, it's because Linux is the most commonly used server OS. Even if you use Windows or Mac to develop your app, your app might be deployed on Linux. So you should know how to install Node.js on Linux to learn your app on the server. Okay, let's go install Node.js on Linux. Okay, we are now on Linux. You might think it's interesting because the Linux desktop is in the middle of Windows desktop. I installed it in Hyper-V because I don't want to durable my Windows desktop because I don't use Ubuntu much. In Ubuntu, you can download Node.js from the website and install it. It's okay. But in many cases, you cannot find this beautiful GUI because this GUI consumes a lot of memory and it can have security holes. So in most cases, you cannot find any GUI in your server. For example, this is the interface on my server. As you can see, there is nothing but black terminal. So you should know how to install Node.js with terminal. Okay, let's learn how to install Node.js with terminal. You can open terminal in Ubuntu by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and T. Or click this button and type in terminal and click this to open the terminal. And then let's type in sudo apt install curl. Linux as my password. So I entered my password. I finished entering my password, but you cannot see anything. It's because Linux doesn't want you to know the number of characters in my password. At first, I thought it was something wrong with my system, but I found out that it's completely natural. It's designed. Press Enter to install CURL. CURL is the program to get data from URL. And let's type in our second command. CURL dash small s capital L. You should Watch out for the case. And HTTPS colon double slash deb dot node source dot com slash set up under bar six point x bar sudo dash e capital E dash dash and enter. Something is going on. Just wait. We'll know what this means later. And finally, we'll install Node.js. Let's type in sudo apt get install node.js build essential. Something you should watch out is that there is no dot between E and J. It's just N-O-D-E-J-S. And node build essential is not plural, it's singular. Press enter to install them. Wait for a few seconds. It's done. Let's check node.js is installed correctly. Type in node-v, enter. You can see the version number 6.0. 10.0 Okay, Node.js is installed correctly. We use these three commands to install Node.js. By now, you must be curious what these commands mean. I will tell you these commands word by word. Let's begin with our first command. sudo in sudo apt install curl stands for super user do. 
With sudo command, you are borrowing other user's privileges with this command. In this case, it's root or admin user. You might have seen this user account control window when you are installing something in Windows. Sudo is the Linux version of UAC. Actually, UAC borrowed its idea from sudo. An APT command stands for Advanced Package Tool. APT is the package management tool in Ubuntu. It helps you install and remove software. And finally, install CURL. Install is the install command for APT. It means to install software in the list next to the command. In this case, CURL is the only item in the list. So this command means I will run the package manager with admin privilege and install CURL to this computer. Let's move on to our next command. Let's begin with CURL and the URL. CURL is a tool to transfer data with URLs. It is used to send and get data from URLs. In this case, we are getting the text file in the URL. Then, what is in the text file? If you open a web browser and type in that URL in the address bar, you can find this text file. It seems that it's a kind of source code. You can find comment, parenthesis, braces, and if. It is called shell script code. You can make a program with terminal commands in shell scripts. Let's get back to our command. Dash, small s and capital L is the option to see URL. Dash s is used, to, used not to show any progress. Dash l is used to handle HTTP redirection. You can add two options with a single dash. You can find a single bar in the middle of the command. It is called pipe. It is used to transfer the result of the command from one command to the other. In this case, CURL gets script code from the URL and through pipe, it sends script code to bash. And the bash command is the command processor. It interprets commands you type in to the terminal. And the single dash option is used current shell options. It means, in other words, you should maintain the setup of the terminal before you execute the code. And dash capital E option is to preserve existing environment variables. In other words, it means to use the settings of the terminal you set before you execute this command. It's similar to dash option in bash. It was a long command. It means download the shell script from HTTPS, this link, and execute it while preserving the settings. Then what does this script do? When we are installing software, we run apt command. Then apt command asks repositories whether they have the software user requested. In default repositories of Ubuntu 16.04, it only has Node version 4. It's because Node version 6 was not released. By our command, we added Node version 6 repository to the list. So apt can find Node version 6 from repositories. Let's move on to our final command. apt get is the older version of apt. APT is added to Ubuntu from 16.04. So you can find APT get in many documents. Finally, Node.js and Build Essential. It's natural that Node.js is in the list, but what is Build Essential doing here? Some modules are written in C and C++. 
so we need compilers to use them. That's why we are installing build tools. So this final command means get Node.js and C and C++ compiler from repository and install them to the system. You might ask, is the command same in all Linux distributions? Well, no. In Fedora, the command looks like yum -y install and list. In FreeBSD, pkg install node. If you are using other systems, just check the page below. I left this link in the video description area. In our next video, we'll learn how to make our first app, Hello World. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.